Hello and welcome to our CZ adventures for today. We've just come out of lockdown, believe it or not, where I live. And uh, it was my first day out on the fields and I want to do a little thing about apps and looking at ballistics and calculating ballistics for your rifle. Uh, but it was so windy, you couldn't hear nothing. So I thought, I'd just come home in the comfort of my own room and just do a voiceover over what happened. Um, looking at ballistics um, for a 2-2 you think what is the point of having it? Well there isn't really one but it's good fun and it's just something to do when you're out there. So let's have a look at my Mac to see what we have. Well I looked at the ballistic calculator SBC Lite long range ballistics well I do 50 yards but it's all good fun and uh, on this app you can download it onto your device and I have it on my iPhone and I just keep the iPhone sometimes beside the rifle, just put in the details that it needs and then fire it up. Well, simple to put in the details. You just open up the app as you see it and uh, looking at your rifle, it's, uh, it's a CZ um, 0.22. So I put in 0.22 and that gives me my rifle that I'm going to use. Then I look at my, my rounds and I say, well, look at what I'm using there. It's a Winchester and it gives me the uh, the value there, uh, 42 grain for, for the round, and also the muzzle velocity is written on the packet as well, 1065 feet per second. The ballistic thing, I don't really know what that is, but I looked on the internet and it gave me a kind of value to put in, so I don't know much difference it makes. And then you know on it, the distance between the rifle and the sight, um, it's about 1.5 inches, so I popped in there, and then also I zero the rifle at 50 yards. So I save all those values and put them into the system. Now the next thing I want to move on to is just putting in some more detail about my range. Well, this device is for measuring the wind. You get that up there and in the direction of the wind. And you can see there it measures the temperature, the wind and different things. And uh, I put it on average and then it records kind of over a period of time where the direction of the wind is, move it around, find the direction, there it is. And also then put in the value of the velocity that I had measured. And you can, there's the temperature as well. It was a cold day out there, seven degrees, but the wind chill factor was much lower. And there you are, 11, uh, what did I say? It was about 12 miles per hour. And then altitude, I was actually at uh, sea level more or less on this one. so. I don't have to adjust that at all. So that's your, your next window. Then you can go down, select then, and it gives you all the values that uh, that come up uh, on the app for when you type in your particular round and all the, the variants. And you can see how far you have to adjust for a cross and how far you have to adjust for drop as well. Over 100 yards is what I was shooting at. So you can go down to the 100 yards and then click on and it'll show you where to aim on your target, on your duck. And uh, you see that uh, on your scope, it's two dots down, that's 100 yards. I always shoot on the highest um, magnification. And then for wind, you move across two dots to the right when you're shooting as well. And once you have all your settings and you know where you're aiming, you just adjust your scope either by using the turrets or by using your eye on the reticle and then just fire away and see how you get on. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. A bit of fun today. Um, it's too cold. I'll go and do something different. But please, please subscribe and ring the bell and everything else. See you again soon. Bye now.